I'm a registered dietitian, and this is reason 465 why I think the glycemic index should get the boot. It doesn't even apply to real world situations. These foods are completely measured on their own in a fasted state. And while that might make sense for something like an apple or a Snickers bar, it does not make sense for something like rice, pasta, potatoes. And while I know there are some of you out there that will eat those foods completely on their own, most people do not. You add at least some butter or something. Most people eat meals, not a singular item by itself. And why does this matter? Because research has shown that eating a high carbohydrate food with protein, fat, and fiber reduces the impact that carb has on your blood sugar, sometimes as much as 20 to 50%. For instance, a baked russet potato has a super high GI score, but potato chips, which have fat in them, have a low GI score. Yes, potato chips are low GI. Proponents of the glycemic index respond to claims such as mine as saying, well, that's not how the GI is supposed to be used. It's supposed to be used as a tool. You use this fancy formula. But there are two problems with this formula. First of all, who the frick for every meal is going to find the GI score of their carbohydrate food and then plug that into a formula and factor out what their entire meal is going to be? Not me, my friends. And when tested, that formula was found to be inaccurate. It overestimated the response to a meal as much as 50% of the time. What a pain in the ass and a lot of freaking math just to not even be accurate half of the time. 